So an evening's matchup between the Seahawks and the Packers in Lambeau is going to be interesting for a few reasons. One, I'm going to be watching to see how the absence of star free safety Earl Thomas affects Seattle's vaunted defense. And going up against Aaron Rodgers should tell us a lot. And two, the Packers have won a couple of games in a row, but they have come against lesser opponents in the Eagles and the Texans. A win against legitimate Super Bowl contenders in the Seahawks, however, will be essential as the Packers are 6-6 six six with four games left and two games back of the Detroit Lions in the NFC North. The Giants are already long shots to win the NFC East thanks to the torrid pace of the Cowboys, but Sunday night's game between both teams gives each squad a chance to make its case. New York, however, is most likely a wildcard team at 8-4, and, and it needs to wipe away the memory of last week's disappointing defeat against the Steelers. Most importantly, the Giants need to fix their offense. Eli Manning has struggled and has missed open receivers, and New York ranks just 23rd in the NFL in scoring, earning only 20.4 points per game. They need to wake up against a Cowboys team that ranks 5th in the league in that stat. I'll be at this game, and I'll be watching to see if New York can finally get its offense in gear as it heads down this crucial stretch in its season, and to see whether the Giants maybe, just maybe, can finally break the 30-point plateau, which it has failed to do all season long. The Ravens look like they finally got things together in an explosive performance on Sunday when they humbled the Dolphins 38-6. Well, nothing like a trip to Foxborough to face the Patriots to show whether it was for real or whether it was a one-time thing. Baltimore is trying to stay in the running in the AFC North and can't afford to drop a game as it's tied with the Pittsburgh Steelers at 7-5. The Pats, meanwhile, are trying to secure a first-round bye and a win on Monday night will go a long way toward that. I'll also be at this game, and the matchup I'll be watching most closely is New England's potent offense versus that stingy Ravens defense.